if I do rehearse, is because I really think that's what music making is all about, to make something happen, not just to run through the notes. Why bother? You know, why, why bother your audience, starting with them? After all, you have a responsibility. People who love music, they go to a concert for an experience, a very special experience. They've gone to a lot of trouble to go to that concert, especially in today's world. They would like an event, not a public reading. Maestro Lorin Marcel was one of my most favorite conductors. I admired him very much, his kind of making music. It was always a very elegant, elastic, colorful, dramatic when it was needed. And always it had a big greatness. A conductor of his amazing technique. We all know this. And his brains and his cultural background. I think it works fantastic with Richard Strauss. Richard Strauss's Sinfonia Domestica, and before was Respighi's Pini di Roma, The Pines of Rome. Conductor Lorin Marzell was the first voice speaking before, and the other two were longtime members of the Vienna Philharmonic Orchestra, former violinist and chairman of the orchestra Clemens Helsberg, and violinist Gerald Schubert, who is still playing in the orchestra now after 46 years. Lorin Marzell had a 74-year career. Yes, 74 years. He began his conducting career when he was nine years old. I had been invited to play a series of concerts at a pavilion in the New York World's Fair. And um, I was uh, conducting the orchestra, I was nine then, and um, conducted it in uh, Metals and uh, Italian Symphony, one of our violinists fell off the stage and in true conductorial fashion. Um, <laughs> you can see how professional I was right from the day from day one. I didn't uh, uh, didn't phase me at all, didn't stop a note and uh, kept on going and uh, was probably very annoyed by, by uh, the interruption, the noise <laughs> created by the falling body. Uh, later I found out um, well, that uh, the young person was in, very much intact and no problem. But um, conductors are known to, to be uh, that uh, disinterested in, in the people who play instruments. Actually, it's not true at all. We are very tender, sensitive humans. <laughs> <laughs> and um, even though uh, our reputation has not been very salutary in that uh, particular area. The music that Laurent Marzell conducted at his nine-year-old debut, Mendelssohn's Italian Symphony. He wasn't nine years old when he made this recording. With the Berlin Philharmonic Orchestra in 1960, he was then a veteran of 30 years old. And truly astounding listeners with the kinds of virtuoso, brilliant results that he was obtaining. Have a listen to this coming up now, made just three years earlier, from Berlioz's dramatic symphony, Romeo and Juliet. This is Romeo at the Tomb of the Capulets. I think that's exceptional conducting control and atmosphere making. And by the way, Lauren Marzell had a photographic memory and he spoke seven languages. 
just a part of the story of this immensely gifted artist's life that we're remembering with him and our two Vienna Philharmonic Orchestra artists in these podcasts commemorating Lorin Marzell. Next time, the maestro tells us about his early recording of Beethoven's Fifth Symphony.